So I've been learning more about highlighter inks and I'm wondering if you can use highlighter inks in normal fountain pens just to write with. Also, gotta love these two-parter questions. Can you use a highlighter pen to highlight something else that was written in fountain pen ink? Okay, so good. Still talking about highlighters, great. Um, so can you use normal highlighter inks such as, um, you know, let's see your Private Reserve Chartreuse, Noodler's Firefly, any of the Noodler's Dragon Cat inks? Uh, can you use those as regular ink? The answer is yes, it's formulated to be able to work in a fountain pen. However, if you're using it in say, a Metropolitan, with a fine nib or an even medium nib, you're gonna write it, but you're not gonna be able to read it, you know, because it's gonna be so light. It's meant to be blah, brushed on with a broad stroke. And if you're writing with it with a fine pen, yes, it'll work, but you won't be able to see it very well. So really, if you wanna use it in a regular fountain pen, pretty much the intended use is gonna to be to use a fountain pen as a highlighter, not as an actual pen with written letters. So one of the best pens that I think to use as a fountain pen highlighter, if you will, is the uh, Pilot Parallels. Sorry, it took me a second to think of what it was called there. There's a lot of P words in the pen world. Um, I think the best one is going to be either the 2.4 millimeter or the 3.8 millimeter. So there's four different sizes. The 1.5 and then the 6 millimeter are going to be kind of outside the range of what's practical for a highlighter. But these ones are nice because they're they're kind of like a stub nib where it's like a flat blade as a nib. So you can take these, you can load them up with fountain uh, with a highlighter ink and you can use them as highlighters, um, but they will not wear down uh, and clog up like the felt tip highlighters normally would. So the longevity on these is gonna last much longer than it would on a felt tip highlighter. Um, and depending on the width of whatever it is you're trying to highlight, you can get different versions of them and so on. Um, that's what the different colors represent. So uh, these are great alternatives. They're $10. They're really good. Um, you can reload the cartridges they come with with an ink syringe with a highlighter ink, or you can get a Pilot Con 50 or Con 20 converter and fit that on here. Um, so for a total cost of no more than $15, you can get set up with a highlighter that's really gonna last you pretty much forever. Um, and so that's pretty cool to be able to do that. Um, and then you can clean it out and just maintain it like you would your normal fountain pen. So that's kind of cool. Um, but uh, the second part of your question you had was, can you use it over top of some other fountain pen ink? And it's gonna be basically, you know, the answer is maybe. It depends on the ink and it depends on how long it's been sitting there and stuff like that. If you're taking an ink and you're writing something and then you're highlighting right over top of it, um, chances are it's going to run and smear on you a little bit. If you're using a fountain pen ink that is waterproof, chances are much less likely that it's going to run. Still not 100% though because um, some fountain pen inks like a lot of the Noodler's ones are, are cellulose reactive. They take time. They need to absorb into the paper to truly become steadfast and permanent. So if you're writing something and then going back 30 seconds later and highlighting over top of it, that ink is still going to be wet. It's going to smear pretty much no matter what it is. Platinum Carbon Black, I think, is some of the best stuff because it's a pigmented ink. It dries more on top of the paper. It doesn't soak in. So if you need to be able to write something quickly and highlight over top of it, Carbon Black is probably going to be your better bet to be able to do that. But pretty much look at, you know, water-resistant inks. You can filter that by uh, gouletpens.com. You can read some reviews and stuff like that. Not all inks are created equal. Not all of them are 100% water-resistant. Um, some of them, you know, inks are made of lots of different dyes and components. Some of them, like some of the components are more ink or water resistant than others. So you might get one of the components of the colors that would run a little bit when you highlight over top of it and so on. So there's a lot of variables. The paper too, if it's really slick paper, it's going to take longer to dry, longer to absorb, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, if you're looking like a textbook that's got like a slick feel to it, ugh, it's not going to do as well. So you just want to, there's a lot of variables there, so and paper is, is a factor as well. So I would say the carbon black probably is your best bet, going with an extra fine nib if you can, and then using a parallel with highlighter ink. Firefly, Noodler's Firefly is my favorite highlighter ink. It's just a general like yellow highlighter ink, but I think that will be your best setup for success there. Okay, Donovan? Cool.